Hello, hello, hello. It is Magnificent Monday, September 9th, 2024. And I'm continuing on sharing my PhD journey. I submitted my very last assignment for my first course on yesterday, Sunday. And so now I have a break. So I won't necessarily be on like every week. Well, I'll probably still come on. I don't know. My class, my next class doesn't start until October 15th. And today is the 9th of September. So I got a nice little break in between my next PhD class. But what I will do, I will talk about other things during this journey. I have to prepare for my dissertation, which is not until another year or two. One well, or no, two years. But I want to just get my mind ready and work on some things. So I'll share that in between sharing updates of my class. What it is, okay, I want to write about African American music studies. Right now in America, we don't have a degree program for that. We have music appreciation classes and things like that, but we don't have any school anywhere in America teaching African American. African American music studies. Now we have African American studies, but we don't have African American music studies. So I am going to start doing research on that this basically a month, a little over a month break in between doing, you know, the next the next course that I have. So I work with the who do I work with? <laughs> The Rhythm and Blues Preservation Society, and they're based out of Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I've been working with them for the last four years and I'm having a blast. And we want to start doing some things as far as just kind of elevating teaching about black music culture, black music, and just all things, you know, Rhythm and Blues Soul Foundation. And that is why I'm excited about during this break in between my classes and doing research because I want to start writing like lesson plans, curriculum, synopsis, things like that, just to kind of prepare myself for the actual opportunity to be able to either teach a class or submit teaching a class. So we may have an opportunity coming up and I'll share that as it comes. And I haven't written a curriculum in a while. I used to work for a nonprofit years ago in Brooklyn. And I I was the one who actually put together the lesson plans for, it was an after school program, but they also had a few classes during the day. And I was the one who put all the lesson plans together. So I had never done lesson plans before, but the person that I worked for, she's like, you know, you can figure it out. Here's a book as a guide. <laughs> That's all she said to do. So I used the book as a guide and I actually came up with the lesson plans for the choir, for the band, for the, the journalism program. They had uh, they had a lot. They had dance. They had a whole lot of different entrepreneurship. I wrote all the lesson plans for them and I worked with them for about three years from t uh, 2012 to 2015. And then I went on to start working for a university in architectural technology department, which was a lot of fun too. So now, all these years later, I want to put together an actual lesson plan for African American music studies. So I'm just basically just, you know, challenging myself to start writing some ideas and doing a little, just a little light research because I don't have a definite, like a definite statement of what I want to write my dissertation, but I know I want it to be revolved around African American music studies. So what it will actually be two years from now, you know, I don't know. But I'm really hoping it could be toward that because that was my main reason for doing this PhD program. I wanted to write a dissertation on African American music studies because your dissertation is published at the end when you finish. And I really, in my mind, as far as education is concerned, I really want to get African American music studies as a degree program in colleges and universities across the United States. So that is my heart's desire. I'm putting it out in the atmosphere, letting people know uh, if no one else is doing it, or maybe they are and they're not talking about it, or 
I don't know. But I want to do it, and I want to do it starting from 1619, from when the African slaves arrived here in America, all the way to 2019. And, and, and I think I'm going to stop with trap music. That's probably the most recent music genre that was developed in America, was trap music. So I'm excited, kind of nervous, not really know what to expect. I just know that it's something that's been in my heart for a while. And, you know, I wish they had it when I was in school. I wish they had it when I was in high school. And I really wish they had it when I was an undergrad. I went to Prairie View A&M University. I was a music major and fashion merchandising design minor. And for those of you that's just joining me for the first time, because I know I just can't assume you know who I am. <laughs> my name is Queen Diva. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, uh, artist, um, uh, Toastmaster, uh, I'm a mom, I'm an auntie, you know, all those wonderful things. And this is my channel. I mostly have things about my music career, and then I started doing things to talk about just whatever's in my mind or my brain. And so, this video you're watching is about my PhD journey. And I started on July 15, 2024, and I just completed my first course, as I said at the beginning of this video. And I'm excited. I am studying at National University. It's based out of San Diego. I'm doing the online PhD education program with a specialization in curriculum and teaching. I've never taken an education class. <laughs> That's what the clincher is about all this. I never taken an education class, never taken a curriculum class. I just wrote curriculums, as I stated earlier, for a nonprofit. And I thought, you know what, if I could do that then, I'm sure that I can do this now. I love to write. I love to read. And so getting in a PhD program was just a natural progression for me. Um, I did my undergrad and grad studies at Prairie View and University. And, and so now I'm at National University. And I'm excited. I'm just excited. So just know we take breaks in between each class. And so it's about a month break in between this class that I just finished and then the next one that I am going to start in October. So I'm just kind of deciding whether or not I should still post every week or should I just wait until the next class starts. But it just kind of depends on how I feel. And if you have any questions about being a PhD student, going to school, going back to school, I'm in my mid-50s. I am 55. I know I look fabulous. Don't I look fabulous? <laughs> I took great care of myself. I drink plenty of water. Uh, I try my best to get better sleep. Look, I'm looking kind of, you know, eyes are red. I'm not getting, I didn't get no sleep last night, but I try to get plenty of sleep, drink plenty of water. I take care of myself. I don't, you know, go out and act crazy. I don't talk loud. And all. You know, all those factors really do make a difference. I don't care what nobody say. Well, I don't really care what nobody say, but I could just speak for myself. I always just kind of protect my voice, protect my mind, I protect my heart, and I protect my spirit. So those things I have done all my life, and so I don't look my age. Actually, I have really great genes to my family. You, you really can't tell how old we are. Even my Nana, God bless her soul, she passed away three years ago, just before I graduated with my executive MBA. She was 94. She was about a couple of months shy of her 95th birthday, and she looked like she was in her 60s. So I'm really thankful for that. I'm so thankful for that. So if you like what you're watching you and you want to follow my journey, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. I'm a lot of fun. I love what I'm doing and I want to encourage you, especially if you are thinking about going back to school, do it. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day and um, I will see you next time. Oh, and I got an A on my last grade and I expect to get an A in this class and I expect to get an A on that very last assignment. So just know I am a scholar and I love getting A's. <laughs> Talk to you next time.